Before we dive in, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our thrilling content. Now sit back, relax, and prepare for an adventure that will transport you into a world of intrigue and danger. Picture yourself embarking on an exotic journey to a far-off land where mystery and dread intertwine to form a tapestry of unparalleled excitement. Let me paint a picture for you. Imagine a place far away from the familiarity of your everyday life. A place that doesn't echo with the hustle and bustle of city streets, but instead hides behind a veil of enigma. This place is not your usual holiday destination or a typical tourist hotspot. It's a setting that challenges the bravest of adventurers and brings even the most audacious explorers to their knees. Now what if I told you there exists an island so dangerous it's off limits to ordinary travelers? An obscure island, masked behind the ordinary facades of the world. A place that's not marked on every map or featured on every travel guide. Its name, Quemada Grande, a name that sends shivers down the spine of those who know its dread. Let's delve deeper, shall we? When you think of an island, an image of a serene paradise with sandy beaches and coconut trees might pop up in your mind. You might imagine yourself basking in the warm sun with the cool sea breeze ruffling your hair, but Queimada Grande is a place that defies all those comforting imaginations. It's an island. It's an island that breaks every stereotype, every preconceived notion you might hold about a tropical paradise. Queimada Grande is an anomaly. Located off the coast of Brazil, this place is a stark contrast to the vibrant, samba-filled streets of its mainland. It's a sliver of land that stands as a testimony to the harsh, unforgiving side of nature. It's a place that doesn't know the familiarity of sandy beaches or the comfort of palm trees swaying in the breeze. With every step you take on Queimada Grande, danger looms. It isn't danger that can be easily spotted or readily avoided. It's the kind of danger that crawls, slithers, and hides in the shadows. It's a danger that's silent, patient, and ever-present. Yes, serpents. The island is a living, breathing testament to the world of serpents. It's a place where serpents reign, where they rule the land, the trees, and even the air. It's an island where every rock could hide a venomous predator, where every branch could be a resting spot for a deadly creature. It is the world of serpents, the kingdom of the most dangerous snakes known to mankind. So, are you ready to uncover the mysteries of Queimada Grande? Are you prepared to face its dangers, to brave its serpents? Because Queimada Grande isn't just an island. It's a challenge, a test of courage, of resilience. It's a journey that examines the very boundaries of fear and curiosity. Welcome to the chilling tale of Queimada Grande, otherwise known as Snake Island. Queimada Grande isn't your typical tropical paradise. This place doesn't have sandy beaches and palm trees swaying in the breeze. No, Queimada Grande is a place of danger, mystery, and serpents. Lots, and now every island has its history, and Queimada Grande is no exception. It is a place where adventure intertwines with danger, a sacred space that carries tales as old as time. According to legend, the island once harbored a handful of intrepid human inhabitants. These first adventurers dared to claim this land as their own, setting foot on its sandy shores with hopes and dreams as vast as the ocean that brought them there. Their arrival was marked by the auspicious chirps of tropical birds, the whispering wind carrying tales of the newcomers to every corner of the island. However, the island's original inhabitants, the snakes, watched this intrusion with skeptically hooded eyes. The snakes, you see, had a deep-rooted connection to the island, having called it home before humans ever set foot on it. They were the undisputed rulers of Queimada Grande, the island's silent, slithering guardians. The human inhabitants did their best to coexist with the serpents, adopting a lifestyle of caution and respect for their reptilian neighbors. But as time passed, the tension between the species began to grow. The humans were not equipped to handle the constant vigilance required to live amongst these deadly creatures. The snakes, for their part, were not welcoming of these intruders who disturbed their peace and challenged their reign. The tale of the last lighthouse keeper and his family a grim testament to this escalating conflict. The lighthouse, a proud beacon of human determination, was their abode. The family lived there, tending to their duties and passing the days in their isolated haven. But the snakes had other plans. In the dead of night, when the moon was the eye, the snakes initiated their deadly onslaught. They slithered in through the windows, their scales gleaming ominously in the moonlight. There was no escaping the viperous invasion. The lighthouse keeper and his family met a tragic end, their dreams consumed by the relentless wrath of the snakes. 
the news of their demise echoed through the island, a chilling reminder of the true rulers of Queimada Grande. The human inhabitants, those who were left, quickly fled. The island was once again left to the snakes, a paradise lost to human ambition. The eerie silence that followed was broken only by the hisses of its reptilian inhabitants, a chilling symphony of victory. Today the lighthouse stands as a solitary testament to human resilience and the relentless power of nature. It runs on automatic, a lonely beacon on an island devoid of human life. The snakes have reclaimed their kingdom, their reign undisputed. Queimada Grande with the tales of a time when humans dared to invade their dominion, a grim reminder of the balance of power in nature. Today the lighthouse runs on automatic, a lonely beacon on an island devoid of human life. The echoes of the past still ring clear, reverberating through the silent expanse, absorbed by the gnarled roots of the weathered trees and whispered with the crashing waves. Its beam cuts through the darkness each night, a beacon of hope and a grim reminder of the fierce struggle that once colored the island's landscape. A tragic yet fascinating tale of a place once shared by man and beast, now reclaimed by its original inhabitants. A clear testament to the relentless power of nature. The stars of Quemada Grande, of course, are the snakes. The island, isolated and remote, is a slithering paradise, housing a multitude of serpents that roam freely, enjoying the unspoiled habitat. It serves as an ominous stage for a riveting spectacle of survival, a dance of predator and prey, with the serpents as the main characters. The island teems with an overwhelming population, an alarming concentration of snakes estimated to be in the thousands, making it a sight that would strike fear in the hearts of the bravest of souls. An endless sea of serpents, their scales shimmering under the sun, weaving through the landscape as if choreographed a morbid symphony. The atmosphere carries a constant air of danger, a lethal cocktail of fear and fascination. Among the resident snakes, the golden lancehead viper stands out. It's a species that's indigenous to this particular island, found nowhere else on the planet, a unique specimen that thrives in this hostile environment. An environment that breeds danger, a place where every rock or tree could hide a lethal predator. The golden lancehead viper, with its distinct color and deadly venom, calls this terrifying island home, making its presence known with a chilling hiss that echoes through the island's silent snakes are incredibly venomous, their venom being a deadly concoction that spells doom for any creature unfortunate enough to cross paths with it. One bite, just one, and the unfortunate victim experiences kind of pain that's the stuff of nightmares. It's game over. Life as they know it ceases to exist, replaced by an agonizing existence that's more torture than life. The lancehead's venom possesses a potency that's fearsome, a blend so lethal that it surpasses the toxicity of most known venoms. It's so potent in fact it can cause human flesh to necrosy, to melt away, as if consumed by an unseen flame, a horrifying testament to the power these serpents possess. This isn't a snake you want to mess with, this is a creature you want to pay your respects to, from a distance. But the danger doesn't end with venom. These snakes are arboreal, they've made the trees their home. They effortlessly glide through the branches, using their environment to their advantage. They can strike from above, like a nightmare raining down from the heavens, without any warning. They can reach you before you even know they're there. The threat of a deadly bite isn't just limited to the ground, it's also present in the air. They are the masters of their domain, they've conquered the ground and the trees, turning every of the island into their hunting ground. It's a dangerous game of hide-and-seek, a terrifying dance with death that leaves no room for error. The stars of Caimata Grande are the snakes, the golden lancehead vipers, the lethal rulers of this deadly paradise. They live in the trees, lurking, ready to strike from above without warning. It's not just the venom you should fear. The fear should extend to their very existence, their presence, their sheer numbers, their arboreal nature, their venom's potency, and the terrifying reality that they can strike from above without any warning. But why are there so many snakes on Queimada Grande? This is a question that has intrigued herpetologists, biologists, and even ordinary travelers for decades. This enigma surrounding the dense population of snakes in this isolated spot on the globe is as intriguing as it is perplexing. However, Unraveling this mystery necessitates a trip back in time, specifically tens of thousands of years to the Pleistocene era, a period marked by dramatic geological changes and biological evolution. The, to our initial question lies in the unique geographical history of the island. Queimada Grande, a relatively small landmass, is located in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. This area was not always an island, 
it was once a part of mainland Brazil connected by vast stretches of land. During this period, a variety of wildlife including a population of snakes inhabited this region. As the eons passed, the world underwent a series of dramatic climatic shifts. The ice age ended, causing glaciers to melt and sea levels to rise. This rise in sea levels gradually engulfed the low-lying areas around Queimada Grande. Eventually the rising waters completely severed the once continuous land bridge, transforming the highlands of Queimada Grande into an isolated island. The snakes inhabiting this region found themselves trapped on this newly formed island, separated from mainland Brazil by leagues of ocean. The isolation led to a unique set of circumstances that would shape the fate of these stranded snakes. Cut off from the rest of the world, the snakes were left to evolve on their own. Evolution as we know is driven by the pressures of natural selection, which in turn is shaped by environmental factors. On Queimada Grande, these factors were unlike any other place. Firstly were the absence of ground predators. This was a significant factor, as it meant the snakes had no natural enemies to control their numbers. This aspect of their environment removed a major check on their population growth. Additionally, the island was home to a large population of migratory birds. This resulted in an abundance of food for the snakes. With an ample food supply and no predators, the conditions were ripe for the snake population to the years. The snake population on the island did not just grow, but exploded. The species that saw the most dramatic rise was the golden lancehead. Named for its distinctive pointed head, the golden lancehead is a venomous pit viper. It thrived in the unique conditions grande, evolving into a new species that is found nowhere else in the world. As we delve deeper into this story, it becomes apparent that Queimada Grande, often referred to as Snake Island, is more than just an island teeming with snakes. It is a living testament to the power of evolution and the impact of isolation on species adaptation. It stands as a unique example of how environmental conditions can shape and mold the course of natural selection, leading to the rise of new, why are there so many snakes on Queimada Grande? The answer, as we've discovered, lies in the island's isolation. Tens of thousands of years ago, rising sea levels cut Queimada Grande off from mainland Brazil. The snakes that were on the island were trapped, left to evolve on their own. With no ground predators and plenty of birds to eat, the golden lancehead population exploded. Now here's where the danger comes into play. Queimada Grande, ominously known as Snake Island, is a place where serpents rule, humans fear to tread, and the normal rules of nature are rewritten. This island, isolated from the mainland of Brazil, is an ecosystem dominated by an incredibly dense population of snakes. Here in the South Atlantic, where the tropical sun blazes and the ocean waves crash, this island has been cut off from the rest of the world. It is so packed with snakes, you're never more than a few feet away from one. Imagine walking upon the crunchy leaves under the shadow of dense forest canopy, and with each step, you feel the shiver of risk, the rustle of leaves, the slithering sound beneath the undergrowth, and the unseen danger lurking behind the foliage can send chills down the spine of even the bravest adventurer. Your heart races with anticipation of what could be hiding in the rocks, in the branches above or under the leaves below. Your eyes dart from one spot to another, always on the lookout. These aren't just any ordinary creatures that you encounter though. These are golden lance heads, vipers with venom so potent it can melt flesh. These snakes, named after their distinctively shaped heads are unique to this very island, are the sole rulers, the only permanent residents of Queimada Grande. They slither freely, unhindered by human activity, their numbers growing with every passing year. They bask in the sun, slither across the rocks, and lie in wait for their prey in the dense undergrowth. Golden lanceheads are not just deadly, they are fascinating creatures. They can grow up to a foot and a half in length and are their aggressive behavior. Their venom is five times more potent than any other snake found on the mainland. This lethal concoction does not just kill its prey, it literally melts their flesh, making it easier for the viper to swallow its meal. The Brazilian government, recognizing the danger that this island poses, has strictly made it illegal for anyone to set foot on Queimada Grande without a special permit. There are stories of fishermen accidentally landing on the island and succumbing to the deadly bites of the vipers. The number of such incidents has forced government to take strict measures to protect the unwary. Only a handful of researchers and herpetologists are permitted to visit the island every year to study these unique creatures. However, these restrictions have not entirely curbed the curiosity of thrill-seekers. 
Despite the potential danger, some still dare to venture onto Snake Island, lured by the thrill of adventure and the allure of the unknown. But rest assured that the Brazilian government consistently patrols the waters surrounding the island, vigilant to any trespassers. The story of Queimada Grande is one of nature's unique adaptations, a testament to the survival of the fittest. It's a place where danger lurks beneath every leaf, behind every tree, and even in the sky above. Its inhabitants, the Golden Lanceheads, are creatures of resilience, persistence, and lethal grace. They paint a portrait of nature's ruthless efficiency, its unyielding struggle for survival, and its indifference to the presence of man. And remember, these aren't just any snakes. These are golden lanceheads, vipers with flesh-melting venom. The Brazilian government has recognized the danger and made it illegal for anyone to visit Queimada Grande without a special permit. In summary, Queimada Grande is a place of intense danger and beauty. The island, located off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, harbors a unique and deadly charm that is unrivaled. It's a land where the lines between the exotic and the terrifying blur. Its allure is not encapsulated in the beautiful pristine beaches that line its edges, nor the emerald green of the forest that blankets its surface. Rather, it's the inhabitants of this island that truly make it stand out. Dwelling within the dense foliage are thousands upon thousands of venomous snakes, their venom more potent than any other snake species on the planet. Each step one takes within this island could very well be their last. It's a land where human life becomes a fragile, delicate thing, the balance of which can be disrupted with just one misstep. The hisses of these slithering creatures echo throughout the island, a constant reminder of the peril that lies in wait. Queimada Grande sits alone, an island cut the world. It's a solitary sentinel in the vast expanse of the ocean, a beacon of isolation and mystery. Mystery. It's a place where the course of evolution has taken a bizarre and deadly turn. The snakes that inhabit this island have evolved over the centuries into the ultimate predators. Their venom, incredibly potent, is a testament to the lethal path that evolution has taken here. For those with an adventurous spirit, Queimada Grande might seem like an exciting challenge. The adrenaline rush that comes with the danger, the thrill of venturing into the unknown, it all seems like call for the daredevils of the world. Each step taken in this hauntingly beautiful land is a dance with death, a dance that few can claim to have braved. But remember, this isn't just any island. This isn't a place where you can simply tread without fear. It's not an island that can be conquered with bravery alone. It's an environment that demands respect, that commands caution. It's an island where the hiss of a snake is a death sentence, where every rustle in the bushes could potentially be the harbinger of the end. This is Snake Island, a name that sends chills the spine of even the most courageous. It's an island that has claimed many lives, an island that doesn't discriminate between the brave and the foolish. This is a land where danger lurks in every corner, a land no stranger to death. Its inhabitants do away from proving their infamy. Tales of their deadly nature have traveled far and wide, but only those who dare to step foot on this island truly understand the depth of the peril it harbors. This is Snake Island, a place where even the souls must tread with extreme caution. Every moment on this island is a testament to the primal fear that snakes instill, to the constant danger that their presence poses. It's a place that commands respect, a respect born out of fear, out of understanding the lethal nature of its inhabitants. In this land, danger isn't just a possibility, it's a certainty. And thus, in closing, we reiterate the fundamental truth of this land. This is Snake Island, a place where danger lurks in every corner, and even the bravest souls must tread with extreme caution. If you want to continue joining us on these thrilling journeys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Be the first to know when we explore a new corner of our dangerous and beautiful world. This way, you won't miss a moment of the adventure. Stay tuned, stay brave, and keep exploring.